and welcome back to my channel. As you can probably guess, today's video is my December plan with me. But before I started, I just wanted to mention that I noticed the channel has passed 18,000 subscribers, which is like an insane number. So I just wanted to take a minute and say thank you to all of you who watch my videos, who subscribe, who comment. It's been so much fun doing this and it's really cool to see that there are a number of you out there who actually are interested in what I'm doing in my bullet journal and what I'm doing in other aspects of my life. So thank you, thank you very much and I hope you guys enjoy this plan with me. So as always, I'm gonna take you guys through November, show you kind of how things wrapped up. So let's move and open up to, Oct not October, November. Let's open up to November. So back to the beginning of my month. So if you guys remember from my last plan with me, um, this was my kind of interesting intro page. I still really love this poem. I think it came out really well and I just really enjoy the look of this all together. I am still disappointed in my monthly header thing, but whatever, we move on. So monthly log, as you can see, I am currently filming this on the 16th because I'm going to try and get this up for this Sunday. And I really am enjoying using this monthly log. You can see that I have notes on almost every single day in cursive, which means it's something that I did kind of at the end of the day. I have less, I think I, I have fewer things that are in my color code. It's really just work and then it was the end of my holidays. But there are a couple of things that I have in block letters that are things that I've put in early on in the month. I also have a couple of things down here that are penciled in that I'm not sure if it's going to happen that day or what have you. So if, if it's something that is not, it's tentatively scheduled, we'll say. I will just pencil that in. Um, yeah, it's going really well. Tasks, I've got a couple of things that I've done. I have a couple that I have decided that they were irrelevant tasks. I no longer need to do them. This one, I might have to kind of rethink how I'm going to do this for December. I am going to keep a task page, but I'm gonna rethink how I'm gonna do this for, for December. Then I've got reading and tracking, same as always. I've only gotten through three books this month, which, oh well, that's the way it goes. Tracking, I, really like the changes that I made to the tracker for this past month. I have not felt that I needed any more information for my morning skincare routine, so that was that was a good choice. My evening skincare routine, I feel like not having to fill out so much for the morning and really just focusing on the evening has made it so that I'm more likely to do it. I also have been really, since I'm focusing on this, I've been really trying to make myself do my skincare routine even when I am feeling tired or what have you. And I think that overall it's been going pretty well. So that is something that worked out essentially how I had hoped it had. So that was kind of a cool, that's kind of a cool feeling. Then I have gratitude. I still really like this quote up at the top here. It's really hard to tell because they're both brown inks, but I actually have been using two different fountain pens. So let's see. I've been using whoop, these two every other day. So this is my bronze, I think it's like bronze lizard. It's a medium Pilot Metropolitan and it is filled with Montverde Copper Noir. And I also have my Twisby Echo, which is filled with Noodler's Beaver. And so I have been alternating those every single day. And it, it's really hard to see on camera. And even for me, like I know I can see the difference, but I have to look really closely. Uh, but that's just been kind of fun to use two different fountain pens when normally during a month I only use one. But I am still enjoying filling out my gratitude log and yeah, I am gonna kind of rework this just because I feel like I'm gonna have a fair amount of space left. I mean, granted, it's only the 15th and I'm about halfway through, so that is good, but I think I'm gonna rework this a little bit for next month. Then I've got my weekly weeklies and dailies. So this was the end of my trip, so I just had the weekly and then went straight into dailies. I didn't have a task list. Task list. You can see that I do have a couple of tasks most of the days, but they're not like big things. They were just things I wanted to remember that we had talked about, for example, the night before while we were like sitting around and chatting. And so I just put them on here so we would remember them for the next day. But then most of this is just for journaling. So some days, a lot of journaling, some days less so. This Friday was when I came back to my town. And so I had a lot of stuff that I wanted to get done, which is why I'm back into more like a longer task list. Task list, wow, need to enunciate better. Then I have, again, a lot of journaling. So this was something that on Friday, while I was kind of thinking about, okay, what do I need to get done this week so that I can also still have time to hang out with my parents, I decided to do this little spread for weekend planning. So I have Saturday and Sunday. 
and I basically did time blocking for the morning because I figured if I take, you know, say I get up at seven o'clock and I work until about one o'clock and then I meet my parents for lunch, like that should give me a decent amount of time to get done the things I need to get done in theory. So I time blocked out the, the mornings of both of these days and then I had my list of, um, so these were like the general things that I want to get done and this was more detailed other tasks that I needed to get done that were either on this list but I just broke them down into more detail or were things that if I had the time to get them done that would be great but if not it wasn't the end of the world and then obviously my meal planning and I ran out of space on the task list so I just actually moved it over and started a second column over here so this worked out really really well I actually ended up needing more time than I had so for example on Saturday I ended up cooking while my parents were here and we were just kind of chatting like after we had eaten so you know, it all worked out, but it was nice having this overview to check out. Then more journaling, another daily, and I had some extra space down here and I didn't feel like doing stickers, so I was just like, bye holidays. And back to normal. So I have been alternating this month. If you guys can tell, I had two colors. So, oops. So I had two colors this month. I had 946 and 026, and essentially what I decided sort of arbitrarily was that I would do every other week with these two colors and when I did this 026 I would use Noodler's Beaver and when I did 946 I would use Copper Noir. So basically that allowed me to have a different look every week but still use both of my fountain pens. So this was one of the weeks where I did um, Noodler's Beaver and the 026. So back to my Back to my task log, you will notice also, let's see if I can find, here we go. So one of the things that I got, I ordered these stencils by from Ink by Jeng, and I actually have another mini one because it came in a two pack, but I ended up ordering them and sending them to my parents' house because shipping was like, if I shipped it to me in France, it was going to be more, the shipping was going to be more than what these stencils actually cost. So since I knew my parents were coming, I just shipped it to them. So when they brought them, I started using them. So basically the rest of this month, I've been using these two stencils. On a day-to-day -day basis, I usually use this little one because it's just easy to do. But then on things like my monthly level task log, I have a longer section of, whoops, if you can see that, I have a longer section of squares. So I do those when I know I've got a bunch going on or like a big task list or whatever. So I've been doing the Alistair Method um, task list, still really like that. I have my upcoming week, and then I, because I was so inspired by the journaling I did while I was on holiday, I decided to do a little bit of journaling at the end of each day. And since I've been sort of offsetting my dailies, I decided, okay, well, whatever section I have used up for my daily, the section to the right or to the left of that is going to be what I use for journaling. And so you'll see like, this is the journaling section for Monday, this is the journaling section for Tuesday, and so on and so forth. Now, there were some days where I had extra room on the bottom that I used, or there were some days where I wanted to journal a lot, and so I didn't set up Saturday on this page. I just went ahead and filled it up with journaling. Um, then, whoops, let's, I'll come back to this. And then I went on to Saturday and Sunday. So this, you can see, I've also been doing little mini collections if I need them. Um, this was a pen test for a video I will have coming up for you guys. And in between, a lot of times what I do is, if I know I'm going to have a couple of collections I need to do, I like to do them on the same spread so that there, I flip to that and I have both collections just on that spread. So this is my 100 days of flossing. You will see that as of last night, I'm on a 10 day streak, which I'm so excited about. I have to keep going. And I have a new library loans tracker that is page threaded with the first one I had in here, which was on page 13. So I can flip back to that if I need to. So going back here, so that was the end of last last week, I guess. So you'll see, again, I knew I had two different spreads that I wanted to do, so I just took up one full, or two different collections I wanted to do. So I took up one full spread. So I have 2019 ideas. I have a lot of ideas for how I'm gonna kind of change things up for 2019 based on what I've been implementing and what I've learned from reading the bullet journal method. And so I, well, Keep a lookout, I will definitely be doing a video about my 2019 setup, but I wanted to start brainstorming some ideas. I also had a couple of brain dumps earlier on where I had done like half of the tasks on each of them, and so I basically took everything and said, do I still need to do this? Yes, it goes on this brain dump. Do I not need to do it? Okay, I'm just gonna not transfer it over. So I've got them um, all, like this full page of task lists. If I were to do this again, 
I would do my Alistair method because all of my tasks fall into my three categories of work, social media, or personal. So J, P, uh, J, S, or P. And so I ended up labeling them on the left side here, but I find this really difficult to read. So in the future, I'm going to do the Alistair method and just do the boxes under the appropriate column because it's just so much easier for me to keep track of what categories I have tasks to do. Then that's this week. So same thing. I just switched my pen. So this is the 946, I think, and the Copper Noir. But same with, you know, here's my Monday journaling, here's my Tuesday journaling, Wednesday, Thursday journaling. So we are currently on Friday the 16th, so I don't have anything up there in my journaling section. I also realized that I was going to have a bunch of tasks that I needed to do because grades close next week for my high school students, and so I need to make sure I've got everything um, sorted for that. So I just did a quick little mini collection here of the things I need to do specifically related to work. And that's all I have for November so far. I, I'm i doing this plan with me a little bit early just because I was really inspired and I've really been wanting to work on December, so I just decided that I would go ahead and film it early. So I had to count out a bunch of pages to make sure that I had enough for the end of the month. So I went through November and I realized I use roughly four spreads per week, and that includes days when I journal a lot more than normal or days when I are, you know, times when I'm going to include a collection. So I essentially counted out enough that I have four spreads per week and an extra one. So hopefully that will give me plenty of room to get me through the end of the month. Um, so that actually puts me up through. So at the end of the month, I estimate is going to be around page 129. We'll see how it goes. If I have extra pages or if I need more pages, I'll figure it out. But I think I'll be, I think it'll be okay. And then I have started my setup for December. So let's take a look at what I'm going to do in December. So I've got my little sticky note. All right, there are gonna be some changes. Um, I kind of, I was inspired for December. So let's, let's take a look. On this right page, I have my normal kind of setup. You'll notice that I actually just wrote what the things were in my little like squares, um, rectangles actually, rather than doing it off to the side. No particular reason, I just decided to try some, like a different setup. So first let's look at my color scheme. I have decided on these four colors, and you guys know, we'll see if I actually use all four of these colors, but this is kind of the plan. So I knew already that I wanted to use Ernest Hemingway. So this pen is inked up with Ernest Hemingway, which is this really nice like teal, and it's so like super saturated that in so certain like angles of light, it looks almost red. So I wanted to have a color that went kind of with that, but I didn't really want to do just red for Christmas. So I decided, now bear with me, I went with, you know, like in the Nutcracker, the sugar plum, dreams of sugar plums and all that, and I literally can't even remember the line, but I had this idea, I was like, oh, like plums are a thing for December. Just bear with me. <laughs> so I decided to do purple. <laughs> anyway, so I have 679 and 676. So these two colors I thought went pretty well. I have like kind of a darker, like more muted purple and then a little bit of a brighter purple. And I thought those would go well with this kind of teal. And then because it's Christmas and Christmas is metallics in my brain, I am also gonna do copper. So not sure exactly how this is going to pan out in my actual like spreads, but those are the colors I'm planning on using. Then I have my setup. So I'm going to keep my same intro page. I have done my little quote over here. So the quote for this month is December being the last month of the year cannot help but make us think of what is to come by Fennel Hudson. So you'll notice I've got a bunch of little like markings over here. This was to help me um, lay it out on my page and you're going to see I actually kind of plan this one out. Then just, you know, December 2018, I'm going to keep my monthly log and tasks. That's basically just gonna say the same. The biggest change is my tracker. So you'll see over here that I have a bunch of notes about my tracker and I was getting kind of bogged down in how I wanted to do it. So I ended up flipping the page and doing a spread. This is essentially what my tracking spread is going to look like look like. So I started counting from the bottom and realized that I actually wanted to put my key at the bottom. So this is going to shift up, but I am doing a horizontal tracker rather than a vertical tracker, but I'm not turning my notebook. So basically I'm going to have my tracker is going to spread like a page and a half essentially. So it's going to go roughly up to here and I'm going to split things by month, week, 
and day, and then within daily, a.m. and p.m. Because one of the things, now this is kind of a preemptive pre-2019 test. One of the things that I'm thinking about doing in 2019 is not having my cleaning tracker in my home bullet journal because I feel like I don't really look at it, but trying to work it into my monthly tracker so that I actually do the stuff. So that's why I've kind of spread it out this way. And you guys, I'll explain more once I actually have it set up on the page. But so basically I'm going to have my tracker over here at the bottom of the page, which I didn't do. I actually just went all the way down to the bottom. At the bottom, I'm going to have the key. And then I decided that since I really don't use an entire page for my reading tracker, especially since I'm now just writing smaller, I'm just going to have a column over here for reading. We'll see how it goes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try doing gratitude on one page. So I have been doing a full sentence of gratitude and I think I'm going to try for December to just do slightly shorter, not do a full sentence, but basically just like the thing I'm grateful for. So I'm going to try and see if I can fit it on one page and I've left, I had one extra page and I was like, what, what exactly can I do with this? So I think what I'm going to do is have a brain dump. And my idea roughly, and I, I'm not sure how this is going to work out, my idea is to, at the end of the month, look at my open tasks from November, look at my current brain dump, decide what still needs to get done and anything new that comes up. So do kind of a rapid log brain dump and then look back at those two and see, have I duplicated certain things or things that I no longer need to do? And then from that like massive brain dump, pick out a couple things, you know, maybe 10 things that I really, really want to focus on. And those are going to be my December tasks and see if maybe that, I don't know, see if maybe that will help me be more focused, more targeted in the things that I get done in December. So we'll see, but I've left this spot. We'll see how it goes. So that is my setup. It's really not any longer per se than normal. I've just sort of changed certain things. So I, I've taken my bullet journal out of my notebook cover because it's just easier to write in. So I have already done Let's see, flip up to where I've got November or December. Goodness, I never know what month I'm in. So I've already got some pencil marks on here because I had so many, sorry, I'm futzing with my, my elastic. There we go. So because I have a couple of big changes, I decided to go ahead and pencil in a little bit more than I, I normally might. Now, um, I did kind of pencil in for my quote. I am hoping that I'm not going to come to regret this because I'm going to have to erase these pencil markings and I'm going to use fountain pen. We'll see how it goes. So I penciled in that. I found the middle of my page for my, um, just December, 2018. So we'll kind of play around with that. Whoops. Oh no, bent my page. Oh well. Then I have just quick little pencil marks in for my monthly, nothing on the tasks. But the main thing is I've done a bunch of little pencil marks to kind of guide my tracking setup. So hopefully this will help me not like forget something or what have you. So you guys will see how that, how I end up uh, doing with that and then gratitude and monthly brain dump. So my little um, sticky notes as I usually do, as well as my pencil marks to help guide me. So I think it is time for the time lapse. I will come back at the end and let you know how things kind of went.
So that is my setup. Let's take a look at how things went. 
So I have not erased any of my pencil marks because I did a lot of stuff with fountain pen and as well as that copper Faber-Castell and I really just want to make sure that it doesn't smudge. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So I have my quote for December, which I decided to go with just December in cursive and the rest in block letters. Just just to try something different and it was really nice having it all counted out and figured out beforehand so that I just had to go in and write in and it really didn't take me that long to set up so I think this is something if I do this style of quote again I will try and remember to actually do because I just like when it actually is when it's meant to look sort of symmetrical and well thought out that it actually turns out that way. Uh, next up, December 2018. I actually did not screw up my my spacing for December. I had enough room for all of December that I was very pleased about. Then I've got my monthly log. So this is the setup I've been using. You will notice that I have two lovely smudges of fountain pen. I think I must have gotten a scratch somewhere on one of my fingers and it hadn't fully dried yet and so I transferred it to the paper but oh well at least it's in the color scheme um, but yeah so basically just December and then upcoming month for January tasks as usual uh, as I mentioned I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to deal with the tasks brain dump situation but we are gonna see how it goes and I might end up doing an Alistair method set up on this later but for now I'm gonna just kind of leave it because I hope to have a lot fewer tasks than I normally do, to not actually treat this as a full-on brain dump and to actually use a brain dump um, on a different page. So we'll see. Then my big change, so let's, I think this is probably dry. So my biggest change for this month is my tracker. And this looks completely different than I think probably anything that I've done so far aside from, it looks kind of like my skincare tracker, which you know me, like I tend to find something that works and just run with it. But the fact that I have moved the days of the week up here and the uh, things I'm tracking over here, that's a pretty big change for me. Hopefully I won't confuse myself since I've been doing the other ways for so long. But essentially I have on this left column here how frequently I'm going to do it. So once a month, once a week, once a day, essentially. Um, what I think I'm going to do is possibly go back and box out certain days on the days. For example, uh, my goal is to go to my bar class every Monday and to do this Lazy Dancer Tips video every Thursday. So what I might do is go through and box out Monday and Thursday so that I know those are the days that I want to actually check off. Um, we'll see. I, I have kind of just left it as is and I will figure out as I go along. Then I have my daily stuff. This is actually, aside from these two here, all of the rest of these are basically what I did last month. The two new ones are TV. So my goal with this is to kind of see how much TV I'm actually watching. One of the things is I'd like to reduce the amount of TV I watch. So I figure first step is going to just see how much do I actually watch. Then I have no dishes left. So this is one of my new goals as well is when I go to bed, not have any dirty dishes left in the sink. So if I do, then I can check that off. Keeping my evening skincare tracker, and you'll notice I actually did separate. So even though these are all evening things, I have my skincare tracker sort of separated so that I make sure I know which it goes to. Down at the bottom, I have my keys. So my skincare like things, so things that go in special or active ingredients, my keys down there. Other is just kind of explaining, you know, the TV, what does that mean? The no dishes, what does that mean? And LDT, that stands for Lazy Dancer Tips, so that I don't forget what those actually mean. And I've also left a place to do an end of the month review on just kind of how this works in general. I have this tiny little column for my reading tracker and I think it'll be enough. Honestly, I have plenty of room for a bunch of books, but I actually don't usually need a lot of space like width wise to fill them in. So I'm hoping that this will be sufficient. We'll see, you guys will see once I do my January plan with me how this went. And last up, I have my gratitude log and my brain dump, and I did go ahead and straight away set up the Alistair method on this so that it would be a little bit more organized. What I will probably end up doing is just filling in everything, and then after I'm done, go back in and mark which one they go to so that I don't have to stop and do that while I've like, you know, kind of got a rhythm of filling things in. So we'll see how that works. It's an idea you know, got to experiment. But yeah, that is, that's December. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know there was a lot of talking, but that was partially because I had a lot of kind of big changes that I wanted to do. So if you guys have any comments or questions, I hope I explained, for example, my new tracker. But if you have any comments or questions on how it works, let me know down in this, the comment section, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!